spirits, ghosts, afterlife, eternal punishment, eternal happiness. All of this kind of revolves around an idea that we have a soul. My thought on this is that that idea is probably what sparked the idea that a god exists. And in a way, that idea needs to be addressed more so than uh, a belief in God. Um, it, for one, it's less direct, uh, so people don't think you're directly attacking the religion even. Well, yeah, they will. But another thing is that that idea is, in, in a sense, more powerful, even though it's less direct. But you're not uh, saying that you don't believe in a God, you're saying that you don't believe in a soul. And I was wondering, if, is there any word out there TV they have here is there any word out there uh, saying like you're um, uh, a, a non-soul believer non-soul believer <laughs> not just soulless because it, it sounds like you still believe in a soul in a way is there anything to designate one that doesn't believe in the soul and not so much just God, because not believing in God doesn't specify that you uh, don't believe in a religion or stuff like that. I would think that more so not believing in a soul would sound more like you don't believe in a God, in a way. Uh, now, see, in my view, we live after death through other things that are living. Uh, people carry on memories, or they just carry on. In a way, that, I think that issue needs to be addressed a little more because in a way it's more powerful than people's belief in a God because, in a way, uh, and, and it's stronger. Well, uh, powerful more stronger than it's the same thing. Um, but I think that issue needs to be addressed uh, a little bit more uh, because of the fact that I think it's an older idea and it's probably been around longer than a belief in God. Uh, not sure if you can actually prove anything like that since both ideas are very old. Um, but it seems logical that one would think of themselves first uh, and expand from there um, before they come up with a father figure in the sky or mother figure uh, or group of powerful beings in the sky uh, looking down or everywhere looking at us um, controlling us creating whatever uh, so this advanced idea of a deity or deity whatever however you want to say it in uh, that's created the universe or is controlling us in some way or will dish out punishment or reward I think probably stems somewhat from the idea of a soul <clears throat> maybe not what do you think uh, I don't know I, I think in a way that makes more of a statement to say you don't believe in a soul than saying you're an atheist because you could be an atheist and still be religious you can believe in afterlife uh, and all this and ghosts and things like that but if you don't believe in a soul, you can't really believe in that. And to me, it seems to also say you're an atheist if you don't believe in an afterlife, because what would be the use of believing in a god if you don't have an afterlife? Maybe not, but I don't see any religions that, that, that don't believe in a soul. So that's my thought on it. I'm just wondering what people think about that. That video is really weird, by the way. <laughs> I like the song. <laughs>